Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. We're here again with a top five. And the top five for the second quarter of 2024. So this will actually be, should be part two, but it's actually going to be part one of the top five of 2024 series. Coming in at number five. Number five has one of my favorite lunchtime games, Harsh Shadows. This is a print and play version of it. And the reason I like this, particularly for lunchtime, is there's no dice, there's no noise, it just plays. And you can play it just about anywhere. I have played it in parks, I've played it at restaurants, I've played just about everywhere. But Harsh Shadows comes in at number five. Where you Harsh Shadows, where you can be the spy hunter and go find the spy and bring them to justice after you discover all the clues and whereabouts of where they're at. So it's a great game. I hope that you enjoy this. Go take a look at it. Number four is Black Sonata. Black Sonata is a great game where you're, it's a mystery, trying to puzzle stuff together to find out who the dark lady is. We don't know who this person is, but we have actual people who are potential people and we go and try and solve the mystery so it's an actually a real based on a real thing that happened so black sonata is a great game uh, i would encourage you to get it it's solo only so i hope you enjoy it and coming in at number three is one card dungeon one card dungeon is a fun roguelite kind of game you're going to go ahead and move around and kill monsters. When you finish the level, you get to level up, flip over the card, and go to your next people. Actually, be over here. And you go on ahead and go through and defeat monsters, come to the end, and you win. This also holds the current record of six consecutive losses with no wins. But I like it. It's a good game. And coming in at number two, it should be no surprise, is Hostage Negotiator. This is a really good game. It is very dice driven. And let me just say that dice do not like you at all. I believe these dice are infused with active hate before they are shipped. Is that true, Van Ryder? I want to know. So, uh, you have multiple scenarios. This is a, currently, it is still being published. You can still buy everything for it. And is a great game to put together and just have it run. It is also the most intense game. It should also be noted that there is a... Uh, Reimplementation of Hostage Negotiator in, and let's just say that came off my shelf of shame in the month of July. That's why it's not in the Q2. And coming in at number one should be no surprise. <laughs> Imperial Assault. This is by far my current favorite game yeah definitely definitely number one maybe number two but this is such a good game there's so much out there for it it's still printed still available you can go get it there are people selling whole copies on ebay so it's sometimes worth to go there and take a look if you're really serious about this game you can buy the core box and all the expansions and the game is currently complete so you don't need to what you're going to spend is what you're going to spend this is a great game return to hoth imperial assault so i hope you have enjoyed this this has been my top five games for quarter two of 2024 please make sure you like and subscribe and take a look at and watch playthroughs of each of these games thanks and i hope that you have a really great day Please like and subscribe.